the wife here, slash Jeff, and today I'm continuing with part two of my three-part saga for Dead Space. Today I'm reviewing Ignition and Aftermath. So yeah, I'm going to start off with Ignition, because Ignition is the weaker of the two, and I want to end it on a good note, that's just what I'm like, I'm a very positive person, very optimistic. Optimistic. So yeah, um, Ignition. So Ignition is an Xbox Live Arcade game, and it is an interquel uh, between Dead Space 1 and Dead Space 2. It's... It's... Eh, eh, eh. It's a motion comic, basically. And uh, it's a motion comic where you get to branch off the storylines at some points if you choose to do one thing over the other. But it makes no difference because it ends the same way. Like, either way it happens. Like, I'm pretty sure... Spoiler alert! The redhead dies either way. It's really dumb. But yeah, and uh, how it works is uh, you're an engineer, and you go from one place to another. You solve some mechanical problem, or so you do some hacking or something, and then you move on. The story continues. So you're not actually playing that much. It's a very short game. It's not worth the money to pay for it. Because I got it for free, because I got it the pre order of Dead Space 2, it was worth it for me. Like, I had fun playing it? Well, no, no, I did not. Oh, kind of, yes. It's alright. Just don't pay for it. <laughs> Easy way to put it, just don't spend the money on Ignition. Ignition, it's, uh, the ending's pretty cool, actually. Um, if you're really looking forward to Dead Space 2, because the ending, like, has a nice, cool moment at the end. But yeah, so, um, I don't know, if you kind of want, like, a nice, and also, you get a cool look at some of the other aspects of the universe, that's kind of cool, but it's not worth the money. Uh, just, I'm going to do what I tell you to usually do if something's not that good. Look it up on YouTube, because the whole thing's on there. <laughs> so, yeah, just go on YouTube and watch it if you want to see cool parts of the space story. If not, don't worry about it. Okay, that's space aftermath. On the upside, this movie is quite good, actually. Uh, I actually saw the downfall while I played the first Dead Space, and it was alright, it wasn't great, but it entertained me. Aftermath is also quite entertaining, and it actually has a good story, and it's much more relevant to the whole Dead Space universe in general. Aftermath is told from five different perspectives, so it's pretty cool that way. Like, you get to see five different sides of the story. And because it had five different directors on it, actually, it uh, each perspective is, like, kind of animated a different way, and it's kind of cool to see it like that. The only thing is, some of the animation stuff kind of bugged me. Like, this one guy, the, human, the people are totally disproportionate. Like, they're all big up here, and there's, like, nothing down there. It's really, really weird. So, yeah, that one's, uh, the storyline's interesting. It shows you a lot about the species industry. Like, a lot of it starts to make sense afterwards. Like, there's always, a, there was a few things at the end of Space 1 that didn't quite make sense. Like, they didn't. Just, they never got to the point of explaining, and aftermath does give you the pleasure of explaining them. So it it, just, it expands the universe in a logical way. So it's neat that way. And yeah, tomorrow is my birthday. <laughs> tomorrow, uh, you probably want to see if like you. It depends on how long it's going to be. Dead Space Two. In all honesty, it could be five days. It could be a week. Whatever. I don't. I can't. Too early for me to tell. But as soon as it's done, I will you'll, you'll see this beautiful face again. Don't even worry about it. And tomorrow, I'm going to post a quick little video. It won't be an actual vlog, it'll just be a video. Like, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just doing it. I feel like it.
So that's basically all for me today. I will see you guys again when I am 19 years old. Alrighty, Broham the Wide slash Jeff out. <laughs>